She can't cook, she can't clean, she enjoys the fun of things in life. Hi everyone, Allie Janes here. You guys had some really great things to say about the Ricky Gervais controversy last week. A lot of you appreciated honesty in a world where we are so rarely honest with each other. Castle 848 said, Ricky Gervais was brilliant. In a world so consumed with political correctness and always wondering who you might offend, it was quite refreshing to hear someone speak with no boundaries, even if some of the jokes went a little too far. And Hey Now Hannah said, I think he pushed the jokes a little too far, but I'm glad he did. At least this this way, people like him for being honest. There was also a general consensus that Hollywood knew what they were getting into when they hired Ricky Gervais and that they should not be backtracking on that. As summed up by G.J. Hurd, you can't order a steak rare and then get angry when it comes out bloody. This past week was full of new actory experiences. I got to work as a reader on a film that was casting. When an actor goes into an audition, they usually read a scene. The reader is the person that performs the lines of the other character in the scene that the actor is auditioning with. That way the actor has somebody to play to, but the people running the auditions aren't all distracted by trying to read the lines and watch the actor at the same time. It was fun, but it was a little strange because in order to keep the focus on the person auditioning, the reader sits in a chair, they don't physically interact with the auditioner, and they don't give the same amount of emotional energy that they would normally give if they were really doing the scene with the actor. I got to see the other side of casting, what made some of the actors really successful and some of the what not to do's as well. The following day, I got to work as a stand-in for a network TV promo shoot. You know those promos that all the networks have like ABC and NBC and the CW during their commercial breaks that showcase all their stars on all of their shows? This was the preparation day for one of those shoots. First of all, being a stand-in is way better than being an extra. The crew actually treats you nicely and respects you. It's crazy. The pay is way better, and you get to eat off the crew food table instead of the shabby extra food table. There's like really delicious food. It's awesome. <laughs> the first hour that I was there, I got to sit in an interview chair and check my mail on my phone while they set up lights all around me for the interview shoot. That was totally exhausting. Very difficult work. Then I got to walk through all the promo sets so they could set camera angles. That meant posing in front of fans for that very Vampire Diaries and Pretty Little Liars look, standing on a giant turntable and trying not to fall over while continuing to look into the camera, and then walking down a tunnel into the light for a snazzy reveal shot. Jazz hands! Last night, I attended my first LA Actors Tweet Up. What is that, you say? It's a fabulous night of networking for actors and casting directors and agents and managers and writers, organized by some very industrious actors, including fellow YouTuber Judalina. If you're an actor and you live in LA, you should go. There are also branches in New York and the UK, so you have no excuse. I'll put some info links below. The Sundance Film Festival is happening as we speak. I went a few years ago and it was pretty cool. No, literally, it was freezing. But it was also really cool to see the buzz of activity in what is usually a little tiny town in the mountains. And of course, Hollywood is buzzing over this year's Oscar nominees. There are some seriously talented people nominated this year. In past years, there have been some debates about some some of the Oscar nominees not being worthy, and I definitely heard a couple snarky comments about certain Golden Globe nominees. <coughs> Tourist. But this year's Oscars seem to be shaping up very well. Of course, my favorite for Best Actor is my future husband, Colin Firth. Outside of that, I have no idea. I think this is the first year that I haven't seen a single one of the Best Picture nominees, a tragedy which I hope to remedy very soon. Question of the week? Who are your Oscar picks? Are there any nominees that you think are undeserving? Leave a comment or a video response below. Later lovelies! On this particular farm, there was a whole menagerie of animals including cats and dogs and ducks, even a goat who wandered around and got into things as goats are wont to do. Fun fact, my normal temperature is about a degree and a half lower than 98.6. So much like a reptile, it's a lot harder for me to stay warm. Ugh. Too bad reptiles are so icky and we could totally hang out together.